Yeah, Daniel, I really felt like we had to fight hard to get it in the fourth quarter. Um, I love the way we started this football game at halftime. Um, you know, outside of, you know, a drive, you know, I really love the way we played in all three phases of the game. And uh, in that third quarter, it got tight. Uh, didn't play well enough in the third quarter. Uh, but then in the fourth quarter, I, I thought the way we finished that game, um, you know, you can't ask for anything more as a head coach. You know, responding to the turnover on the kickoff and then you force a field goal on defense. On offense, you go on a big drive, you convert two third downs, a fourth down, and you're able to close it out on defense then uh, with a takeaway. And I just thought our guys showed a lot of fight today and I'm um, really proud of them. Yeah, I thought that, you know, a couple third downs there offensively, you know, we had a drop and, you know, we moved it, you know, a couple, two out of those three drives, but um, just weren't able to convert a couple of those third downs. And then on defense, um, just gave up a couple big plays um, in the passing game and just kind of got, you know, I think we got off schedule a little bit, got out of rhythm, you know, had a couple communication issues. But then uh, in the fourth quarter, I just felt like we tightened up, felt like we got back into rhythm and then finished the game playing our best. It's a post defense, so they shouldn't be able to throw it there. Uh, Josh Palmer is sort of in and out. Yeah, he was dealing with a foot. That, foot got it taped. Came back in. He's okay, but just uh, just got it taped up. And how that happen in the game? It did. Okay. Yeah. And we also saw Sebastian at the end there or something. Yeah, just uh, just kind of banged his uh, finger, um, but he's okay. Yeah, Daniel, I, th I thought I loved our commitment to it. Um, I thought that that allowed our, our line to really get into rhythm, which I think helped our passing game. Um, you know, we didn't get any big splitters today, but I thought we had a lot of productive runs, kind of stayed out of the negative runs and um, felt like we ran the ball really well when we needed to. On that last drive, I thought we had a couple really productive runs, um, you know, that we had a second and 10 run that really gave us a chance on that third down and two that Mike caught the slant on. I thought that was a big run on that drive. And so, um, you know, it was just a rugged football game, but I liked the way our offensive line was coming off the football. And um, we drew a couple holding penalties, too. Um, on their defensive line, so you got to factor that in as well. Just to get Austin rolling the way you guys did, particularly in the red zone, getting the end zone for the first time this season, just how encouraging is that? Yeah, Daniel, you make, you make a great point. You know, last year he had 20 touchdowns, and he was the top red area producer, you know, in the NFL. So to get him going today was big. Uh, I felt like he played like a captain today. Beyond his performance on the field, I felt like he really led our football team on offense and um, just played with the energy that, that he's known for and uh, just a complete performance by him. Yeah, there's just a couple couple of those are personnel grouping oriented, you know, running, you know, schemes. Um, nothing more, nothing less. But I really felt like all three guys did, did a nice job. Uh, Sony had a really nice third and two run where there was nothing there, and he was able to get vertical. Um, and he kind of shows his value. He's got that feel uh, and short yardage. And um, I think all three of them are doing well for us. And, you know, like you said, Josh had a good performance today too. So we're going to try and keep all those three guys rolling, you know, really try to put the pressure on the defense to defend all three. I think your eyes are telling you the right thing. Um, we didn't give up a sack today um, and just felt like, you know, anytime you can have 414 on the road and deal with the crowd noise. And, um, you know, like I said, he's, um, he's a stud, calm, poised, strong. And um, he, his teammates did a great job for him too. Uh, but I'm really proud of him, you know, and he can build off it because he's going to, he's really hard on himself. He's going to look at the tape and realize he can play better. But now that he's been out there, you know, Jerry Hughes is a really quality rusher. I've got a lot of respect for him. He's an outstanding player. Um, you know, to be able to be able to go out there and hold his own, um, good start for him. We all know how much Rashawn means to you guys and what type of player he is. To have Jamar go in there and play the way that he did, what does that mean for you over the rest of the season? Because obviously there was some uncertainty there left after. Yeah, Daniel, number one uh, says everything about Rashawn that he was here today. You know, um, tough news for him, but then he's here helping his teammates out. Um, and you can't minimize that from an intangible standpoint. You know, one of your best players being there for his teammates. Um, so just love the fact that we drafted Rashawn Slater and he's on our football team. But, um, you know, I think it, it says a lot about our coaching staff. You know, Brendan Nugent, Sean Surrett, Joe Lombardi, putting a plan together that, that Jamari can go digest and go play. 
Um, and then his teammates, you know, Corey Lindsley, Matt Filer, you know, m- making sure that he's ready to play, helping him throughout that football game, Justin Herbert. Um, but, you know, he played how we expected him to. And like I said, you know, he's got one game now that he can look at. And, you know, now he's got the rest of the NFL, you know, to deal with. So this is just one game and he's got to keep getting better. Yes, sir. A good question. I think a commitment to the run game. I think we really committed um, to coming off the football, and that helps you. Uh, and I thought that the fact that we were able to get you know 27 runs off today, um, I think that really helps your passing attack. And then um, I felt like different types of passes, you know, keepers, RPOs, quick game. Um, we were really good in play action today, uh, which was very well protected. Uh, and then I thought in the drop back game. Um, I thought our, you know, our protection really held up, and Justin played with really good timing within the pocket. And then when it got tight, you know, he was able to find an outlet or throw it away. And um, you know, I just felt like we really um, managed um, the game well from a balance standpoint. Yeah, a great observation. You got to have them in the NFL. Um, that's where it's at. And, you know, I felt like we were able to really access Mike in the deep part of the field today. You know, Gerald in the seams. You know, we were able to hit Bandy, um, Palmer. Um, you know, we had a couple keepers that went, you know, a long ways. And, um, you know, that's what you got to be able to do to, to throw for, you know, 340, you know, on the road. So um, it was a team effort and, um, you know, a very good performance for our guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Lindsay, I think, um, you know, for like a game in three quarters, we were playing really at a high level, you know, I mean, really high level. And then in the very end of that second game to the beginning of this game, you know, was not was not our best stuff. Um, and then today was more of a gritty, tough win for a football team. Um, but a really good response to a really tough loss last week. You know, we had some pieces, as you know, um, that were different this week. We had to make some adjustments, and I think that that's what the beginning part of the NFL is, and I think the fact that we're 2-2, two and two, um, you know, certainly not satisfied with that record, um, but definitely proud of our response today as a team, um, and now we've got to keep improving. Yeah, uh, you know, Jeff, Mike has been ready. You know, he stayed ready, uh, very confident there in the two-minute drill at the end of the half. Um, we're able to locate him, um, and he does what he always does. He's, he's assignment sound. He's a reliable target. He's got really good feel. Um, and, you know, again, you got to show the depth of your team, you know, when, when some guys go out. And I thought that uh, him and Jay Moore, you know, stepped up and, and did a really good job for us today. Elliot, we didn't see it that way. We thought it was a lot longer one yard. That's why I took the time out. Um, uh, you know, just it looked like a long, it, it was more than one, you know. Um, and so we, we, we kind of wanted to make sure that we had the right play call there. Um, but we wanted to be aggressive in that D&D. Uh, we wanted to go try and win this game. And uh, we felt like we had the play to do it. And uh, Justin and Austin, Austin executed it very well. Similar, similar, yeah, similar play call, yeah. Organized different. Go ahead. Yeah, Lindsay, just um, Josh Palmer came back in the game. He just had his uh, foot wrapped. Um, and then uh, Sebastian was fine at the end. He just kind of had a owie there with his hand finger, you know, just kind of a, hey, man, an owie, like ow, you know, that hurt. But he's good, good spirits. All right, guys. P P. Real technical terms around here.